welcome to uh, another uh, all my 78s uh, vlog this is uh, this is a a Philips autosonic disc jockey and I know that I know that not because I've done any research or much research on it really because I haven't because I just know it because it says so on the heck I bought this about ooh, must be about three months three months or three months ago yeah it must be about three months ago I bought this and uh, I just I saw it on that marketplace on uh, Facebook and that marketplace on Facebook is a great place to find stuff people people put it up on their local you can go locally and collect something and, and, and pick something up um, you can see it working now it was actually working when I picked it up and it, and it, and it works to a point but it's making funny noises and I don't want to play it anymore I don't want to put it on anymore um, be, for the simple reason is that if I do it will probably go up in a puff of smoke uh, a bit like this pipe does <laughs> um, and that's not good because you can do more damage to uh, to something like this a vintage player like this if you uh, use it and uh, and, and it, it, it and it does go into a puff of smoke it will cause more damage so so I, I, I'm not going to turn it on anymore. And what I'm going to do, actually, I have already contacted one, um, hopefully, decent service uh, people who will take this and give it a complete service for me and get it into full working order. Now, I love this player. It has a detachable lid, so you can actually, because it's got quite a big speaker on there, and you can detachable lid that you can turn it around and have the, the, the music coming towards you, as you probably should. And it's and it's got a lovely, it's, it's 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 in lovely condition really although it's quite grubby I mean it's Rexine and needs a good clean I don't know how you can clean that maybe somebody can put in the comments below how you clean Rexine or if it can be brought up to any sort of uh, a better look on it but it is quite grubby but I do know the history of this and um, it's, it's very hot getting here in the shed um, it's um, it, it spent a lot of its life in America it was taken over from here to America and. Um, by this guy i bought it off him and he said it was his it was it belonged to his um it belonged to his grandmother and she went she went over to the states when she married an american and took it with her and then it came she came later on in life she came back to the uk and brought it back with her and it's in really good condition and what i like about this as well it's got its original cartridge it's got its original cartridge and head shell with it, and it's quite unique for Philips. Well, it's quite unique as it's a sort of a Philips style, and they and they did this style for many years. This style of head shell, they did for many years because I remember having a, a, a record player, a Philips record player, and it had a very similar uh, in the seventies, and it had a very similar type of head shell. But this one is uh, is quite is quite good because it, what it does, and it's in, in it, and. Unlike many of these, which do, do tend to fall apart, and I know they're quite they're quite uh, difficult to get hold of, um, it it twists, it twists. So you've got you've got M, which stands for micro groove, and N for normal, which is for seventy eights, and you just turn it, you just turn it for you know, and it, and it sort of angles. It's, so it's got two styluses constantly. I'll show you a picture. You've got two stylus constantly, and you just angle it. Uh, for what you're playing. Now, I only play mono uh, 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 micro grooves. Micro grooves uh, in stereo won't 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 work for this uh, for this deck. But um, but 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 for mono it will. So, but I mainly want it for me 78. So maybe for some older 45s that I've got. But it's in beautiful condition. Even even the even the platter is in is in lovely condition. Uh, there's no wear or holes or. And you can get moth holes and things, and I think you can get in them and stuff like that. But it all seems to be working mechanically. I just want to get it to. So I have I have contacted one one uh, one uh, person on the uh, on on the who does a, as a advertises a nice web page saying that he will do the full serve can do a full service on these. Uh, I've, I've had bad 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 results from a person who did a service on my other one, which you've seen. Uh, it came back to me. He wired it up wrong, um, and it nearly gave me electric shock. Actually, it blew all the fuses. I've got these digital fuse box, so it blew it straight away, luckily, and it didn't shock me. But these are these are earthed uh, to the chassis, and he earthed it in a certain way, which made the chassis live. 
So you got to get this really serviced by somebody who knows what they're doing, who really knows what they're doing. But this this is going to be one of my main electric players once it's sorted out. And it's lovely because it, because it, it sits on top of the of the case like that. It makes it a lot easier to to video rather than the other ones, the more sort of modern ones from the 60s and that, which are like down inside the uh, the case so you, you you can't get the camera level with the record that's playing if you know what i mean you do know what i mean don't you so i mean i've just contacted somebody today so i'm waiting for a response really but if you know somebody who's really good really knows what they're doing then please let me know in the comments below but this this is a superb um um, um example i think uh in, in very nice condition and uh as i say it is all working the, the mechanics all seem to be working when i did have it running but because it started making funny noises, I thought it's best to not plug it in anymore and just get it serviced before it goes up in a puff of smoke like I had before. And uh, and then it's completely ruined or it's going to be even more expensive to get it uh, get it serviced and repaired and whatever and that. But yeah, but I, I, I want to get this one fully serviced. But there it is. It's, it's, the, it's the Philips Autosonic Disc Jockey. There are a few of them around, but uh, I think this is a, like the top of the range of that particular uh, portable uh, model so there we are um so keep an eye out i will give you updates on this by the way i will let you know how it's how, it, how the repairs or have i find someone where it goes to who they are i'll give you all the links to them and that and uh, and if it comes back all fixed and, and working tickety boo then it'll be great would be fantastic nipper's got the ump he, he's refusing to look at it he's, he says he's, he's not an hmv um so he's refusing to look at it but i will have to force him to because uh he always appears in mostly all the videos that i do when i'm when i'm doing up when i'm doing recorded recordings of of, of my 78s being um, played so there you are there's a uh, quick one there so um yeah so i will be back i've got to i'm gonna let you know that i am trying to get some uh, uh some more stack attacks done off the 200 i haven't looked at the rest of the 200 they're still in a box that i haven't looked at because i like to give you my reactions to what i find as as being real they're not i'm not something like uh, i've already watched i've already seen i know what i've got already so i shall do them uh, uh very soon hopefully this one this week i shall get one done i also want to do a late night listening uh, I've also got to do a video on a uh, 15, um, 15, <laughs> a, five, a 5B sound box that I've had repaired by a subscriber. I so I will be doing that. And I also have, what else do I have? I've got something else to do as well, but I forget what it is now. <laughs> it's gone out of my head. But uh, yeah, so I've got, oh, and a late night listening, late night listening as well. Um, we're with uh, with uh, I've got I've got quite a, a backup of late night listening stuff that I need to be doing. So anyway, just to let let you know that as well. So yeah, fantastic. Uh, really, really excited about getting this up and running because it just looks fantastic. So yeah, thanks for watching this, and don't forget to like and subscribe and give us a like if you can at least because that will help me to carry on doing this channel. Uh, if I get likes, because then it will show up more and people will watch it more and stuff like that, maybe. Who knows? But if you can, it won't hurt. Just do a like. Not going to hurt you. And <laughs> and if you can subscribe, that will be even great. Because Better for me, because then, you know, there's old people do like watching me. And, um, you know, so, yeah, please do that. And, and if you want to hit the bell as well, that'd be great, because then you'll get a, you'll get a, 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 a notification when I put my next um, video up. Or don't, it's up to you, Emma. Do what you like. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna finish this off and probably go to bed soon. It is quite late, as usual, for me. Right, tired off for now. Is this gone out now? It's gone out now, I bet. Yeah, it has. Bye for now. <laughs> it's been a struggle. It's been a big struggle to do this, I can tell you. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.